Hello, good evening, and welcome to Calendar. A school near Doncaster suffered massive damage after it was engulfed by fire overnight. More than 60 firefighters were needed to tackle the blaze at Camps Mount Technical College. Martin Fisher has our top story. It's a fire that could be seen from miles around the village of Norton. Flames engulfing the school and quickly spreading to many buildings across the site. Initially, when we first turned up, we were, we were able to make an entry to try and, try and arrest the spread of fire. But conditions were such that we had to withdraw um, because the fire, as I said, was spreading rapidly. So we withdrew drew to a defensive position to firefight from outside the buildings. There's now little left that's recognisable of this school. Firefighters managed to save the new gym, but many buildings are completely destroyed. Thankfully, no one was injured in the blaze. Well, as you can see, still small pockets of fire inside the building, but primarily the job now is a damping down operation. The next major work for the fire teams here will be to deal with the superstructure of the school. That's those metal frames. That metal's expanded, causing the walls to collapse. So teams will now have to go in and cut them down, making the school safe. And that in itself is a very dangerous job. Firefighters also rescued some of the school's computers. They hold work that's vital to pupils that will soon be sitting exams. We've been talking to the teachers. They said they were going to um, organise a couple of lessons outside of school, but not every teacher can do that, so our exam results are going to be at risk, aren't they? Well, I do IT, so all that's on computer, so that's all. I haven't backed it up, so that'll be all we've got. I mean, there's coursework and stuff there, and preparation for exams, revision and stuff, so... How the fire started is still being investigated. Now, as the fires are finally damped down at Camps Mount, pupils and staff wait to find out how and if schooling will continue before the Christmas break. Brian Laws.